king of glory come in. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. hallelujah. We bless you, Father. We praise you, Father. We worship you, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, we bless him. He is the king of glory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. 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 Shukabaka. We bless you, Father. We praise you. Oh, yeah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 See, see, that's praise and worship is so important because it, it prepares your heart for the word of God. See, your, your, your heart is the ground for the word of God, uh, for the word of God. And it is so important that you, that you don't have a stony heart, that you don't have a, 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 a heart that rejects the word, but that a heart that receives the word. See, it's the word of God that will change your life. Amen. It's the word of God. It's the word of God that will, that will transform your mind. It's the word of God. And so you have to embrace the word and you have to em em embrace everything that goes with the word. Some people, some, I hear some people say, well, you know, I just want the word, me. I just want the word. Well, the word without worship, the word without praise, the word is just going to puff you up. Amen. I'm going to preach whether you like it or not, I'm going to preach. The word is going to puff you up. Because you're not going to be able to handle the word. You haven't had your heart prepared. Amen. You're going to have a lot of knowledge. Hallelujah. A lot of information. Yes. But it's not going to do you no good. Lord, See God wants knowledge that you can live from. Amen. God wants you to have knowledge. That revelation knowledge. Knowledge that's going to expand your capacity to receive more of God. Amen. Oh hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you Father for your word. Yes, Thank you Father for your word. I love what David said. He said, thy word have I hidden where? In my heart. Oh, come on, y'all. Have I hidden where? In my heart. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. You got to have the word hidden in your heart. Yes. But let me tell you, if you read, the, you read Psalm, you'll see David was one of the great, greatest praise people, worship people. He always praised and worshiped God. Hallelujah. So he always put himself in position to hear from God, to praise God, and to receive more from God. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God. That's not our message this morning. We're not going to stay there. Let's move on. Glory to God. I want to say good morning to you all. Blessings to you all. Good morning to those that are viewing Facebook Live. We're so glad that you decided to join us. Those of you that are joining us from YouTube. And those of you that are joining us from all around the world. I am so grateful that you have decided to join us this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we thank God for you. God is doing great and mighty things here at the Whole Family Church. And we want you to know we are located at 3469 Ames Boulevard, Marrero, Louisiana. Come join us. Amen. Now, I know, I know, but the pandemic is over. Amen. It's time to let's go forward. Yeah. Amen. 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 Why sit ye at home and die? I just won't preach while I'm here. Amen. Amen. So let's get our Bibles in our hand. Let's do a Bible confession. Glory to God. I thank you, Father, that there is with us at the whole family church, every willing and skillful worker for all manner of service. I want to say that again, Father. I thank you that there is with us every willing. Y'all heard what I said? Every what? I want willing workers, willing workers, every willing and skillful worker for all manner of service. 
Hallelujah. There is with us. So y'all ready to do this Bible confession? Those of you that are at home, glory to God, let's just go ahead on and do this Bible confession. Say this with me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. This morning, I will be taught the word of God. I boldly say, my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I thank you, Father, that I am a hearer and a doer of the word. After hearing the word, I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Come on, say it with me. Favor, increase, and promotion are in my life now. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Thank you, Father. Awake to greatness. Wow. Glory to God. This morning we're talking about awake to greatness. And we're going to deal with distorted images. Getting rid of a distorted image. Hallelujah. A distorted image. A distorted image. Amen. So I just ask that y'all pray with me. The Holy Spirit drop this in my heart. And you know, I, 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 was, I was thinking about talking about something else. But it came back strong again. Distorted images, because in the body of, of Christ, right now, today, there is an identity crisis. We, 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 we really, really, really have an identity crisis right now. And we have to awake to who we are in Christ Jesus. You know, one thing about being in the business world, one thing I can tell you that they emphasize they discovered a long time ago how important image was. I can remember all the years I was at Zales. That their brand, their image was so important to them. I can remember going to work and we had, you know, in a jewelry store, you know, they have a lot of lights because they wanted the diamonds to sparkle, to draw from that light and shine and sparkle bright. And if ever you go, if, if, if ever a supervisor came in your store and lights were out, they would ask you, are we going out of business here? Are we going out of business? Why? why oh, we don't have enough money to buy light bulbs. So it was, it was their standard, you see. See, it was their standard, and they, they wanted to make sure that you kept the standard. Branding was everything for them. Amen. Amen. I remember it was Zales the Diamond Store. Zales the Diamond Store. I, I remember even further back that, than that, Zales, a name you can trust. But you see, so image is everything. The image you form of yourself will cause you either, to, watch this, will cause you either to succeed or fail in life. The image you form of yourself will carry you to heights of success or plunge you into depths of defeat and despair. It is not things that, it is not the things that happen to a man in life that cause him to fail or succeed. But what that man or woman believes about the things that happen to him. What you believe about it. How long you going to play that broken record, that record that scratch on your last failure? How long you going to play that over and over in your mind? How long you going to play that last business uh, deal that went bad? How long are you going to play? How long are you going to play that man that didn't treat you right? That lady that cheated on you? That now you can't trust nobody. How long are you going to have that distorted image in your mind? Now you can't trust nobody. How long are you going to have that bad image on the, that your job did not treat you right? They promoted Bill Blast instead of you. 
When you're going to open up your heart and let that image be changed. Amen. So it is not the things that happen to a man in life that cause him to fail or succeed, but what he believes about the things that happen to him. Amen. And let me tell you, this is not just a fact in the world system. It's, it's, it's more evident in the church, in the church. Believers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believers, we got to get the right image on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Many believers, many Christians believe that God is against them. That God is mad at them. That God is holding them from, for something they did a long time ago. I remember a, young, a, la a lady told me many years ago, she was sick in her body and she, had, uh, she was dealing with arthritis and she told me I was a little boy, but I still remember it. She said, God is probably, God is probably still punishing me because when I was a little girl, I used to take puppies, put them in a sack and throw them in the river. That's what we did. For, that, that was their fun. And she believed that God, that was her way of paying for what she did wrong. Lies. Lies, lies, and more lies. That is not the heart of God. That is not the nature of God. Most Christians see themselves through their own critical eye. It does not matter what the words say. They see themselves through their own critical eye. And when that's not bad enough, when we go to that side of the ditch, we jump out the ditch, go running on the other side, they see themselves way more higher than they should. Because now they got a false image of themselves. Oh, glory to God. Y'all need to share this. Y'all need to share this. Y'all need to, y'all need to uh, get ready because guess what? Here we come. Yeah. Hide and seek, ready or not, here we come. Amen. Oh, Lord, I feel my help in here this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they see themselves through their own critical eye. Their self-image has been distorted by condemnation of the devil. Amen. Unfortunately, they have become deceived by their own imagination. They think negatively. And, and then if you don't think negatively, something is wrong with you. I, I've been told you too deep. I, 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 I don't know what world you living in. And, I'm, and the thing about it, I'm living in the real world. Amen. I'm living in the goodness of God. Yes. They believe negatively. They talk negatively. And they expect negative plus negative to equal a positive. I know that's how it works in chemistry. But that's not how it works in the spirit world. Oh, Lord, can I get some help in here today? Here are some things that distort the image of you. Number one, you have a victim mentality. It's always about you. A victim mentality. You know, I mean, everything is about you. How you doing today? And then out comes the victim. My God, why did I ask you that today? And I knew the last time. I don't know why I thought it would have been different. Maybe I thought the message would have affected you. Oh, Lord, is anybody on the keyboards today? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Victim mentality. 
can't see a blue sky, refuse to see a blue sky. Low self-esteem. Here are some things that distort your image of you. I want to make sure we understand what we're talking about right now. They distort the image of you. Low self-esteem. Ex you expect to fail. Nothing good never happens to you. If it can go wrong, it's going to go wrong for me. Oh, I'm preaching. I know, I know. I know I'm in your neighborhood if I'm not at your door. I can't win for... All right, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I can't win for losing. And you don't understand. You keep hearing that. You keep hearing that. You keep hearing that. Faith comes by hearing, but unbelief... Uh, distortion comes by hearing as well. Bad attitude. Bad, always got a bad attitude. I spoke to pastor today. He didn't even speak bad. Just think he too much. I don't know what's wrong with that little man. This is the one that really, really, I, 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 for a Christian, for, for Christian, this is the one that really just blows my mind. Everybody is against them. And I, I, I can't understand why, because I read in the word, if God be for you, who can successfully be against you? Why are you worried about everybody is against you? That's the greater the victory for you. But you have planted yourself in this world and you're not living from above. God has already told you how to live in this present world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everybody is against you. The mailman steal your mail. You're the only one they charge too much for your groceries. They got you picked. Got you labeled. Your children, all, everybody always doing something to hurt your children. And what's so sad is when we have that victim mentality, when we have that negative attitude, we pass that on to our children. We cripple them. But this morning, in the name of Jesus, I break that off of them in Jesus' name. Say it with me. If God be for me, who can be against me? Stop focusing on who's against you and focus on who's for you. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Suspicious mind. Man, I, I got this new, uh, uh, I, got, I got, I'm going to have to get rid of it. This new neighborhood alert thing. Man, these people, I tell you, they, they suspicious of everything. You saw somebody walking down the street? Or are they from this neighborhood? I'm thinking, go your butt to sleep. Unless the Lord watch the house. They that watch, watch in vain. Get you some Z's. Amen. Amen. Suspicious mind. Want to be the police. And, and one of the main things that distort your image of yourself is strife. S-T-R. I-F-E. Strife. Talking about others who are not present, talking about them, 
And then when they are there, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Strife. I want us to make an announcement. I know this is going to surprise y'all, but God hates strife. God, some families are so filled with strife that they cannot see who they are in Christ. I'm preaching bad and y'all shouting. Amen. I said I'm preaching bad and y'all shout because you got to understand how important it is to guard your heart, to protect your heart, and to keep strife out. Amen. Amen. Then there's my favorite, poor, poor, pitiful me. Poor, poor. Not P-O-O-R. Poor, po po. Pitiful me. Not poor, poor. Po, po. Goes along with, the, with, with, with that victim. You got you to gotta understand. I don't care how long your story is. God is greater. There is still victory in the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know, I don't care how bad, how bad you make it. I don't care how big you blow it up. The Lord Jesus Christ has given you the victory. Amen. 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 No, what's the problem? You have accepted lies about yourself. And these lies does not come from God and from his word. You know what, what and, and, and people will tell you, and they'll try to sound spiritual, you know. They'll try to spiritualize it. The Lord is telling me that three people, three people is going to come against you in your family. No solutions. No, no, no. That ain't no word from God. Word, word don't come. That's not, that's not a word from God. A word from God comes to do what? Encourage, Encourage you. Yeah. Build you up. Yeah. Exalt you. Yeah. Not tear you down. Yeah. Oh, Lord. A word, we talking about a word from God. I just want to tell you something. I'm telling you this in confidence. You know, I wasn't going to share it with you, but it just keep coming up in my spirit. I mean, it sounds so spiritual. It sounds so good. But it will, literally, watch this, it will kill you. It will kill you and it will choke you. It will stop you from your progress in God. And you'll be going all along and you're wondering what done happened, where I done got off track, what done happened. You need to judge yourself. Preach, preach. Amen. Amen. Negative people, here's, here's several things that negative people will do to you. They will demean your value. You cannot, you can, you can be telling them about something good that happened in your life. They will cut you right off and tell you about something better that happened in their life. I'm preaching. I know I'm preaching. They're always talking about you. Always putting you down. Destroying your image. You start talking about your dream house. And they are, you don't need all that. All that ain't necessary. Come on, come on. Be, be content with the little house God gave you. I, I love my little house. Yeah. Well, love your little house. Yeah. But God has given me a bigger dream. Yeah. And God is going to fulfill that dream. Yeah. Girl. I think I found the right man. You better watch him. You better watch him. It's just so sad. But believers, what's the problem is we're buying into it. 
What's the problem is we're some of the ones that's spreading it. And man, your and, and 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 your opinion does not matter to them. Why are you talking to them? You tell them your opinion, and your opinion is actually better. But they are better arguer than you. So they beat you down and just take your opinion and stomp it under their foot. You don't need that. T say this with me: Christ in me, Christ in me. the hope of glory. You have the Holy Ghost in you. You don't need their opinion, especially not of unbelievers. And what's so sad is their tongue, their mouth deceive their heart. Their heart become deceived. And they will be crippled for life unless they find the knowledge of the truth. Yes. For it's the knowledge of the truth that sets a man free. Jesus said it like this. He said, Father, sanctify them. Well, in other words, set them apart. Cause them to stand out. Cause them to be the light of the world. Sanctify them by thy truth Thy word is truth. Truth is the word of God. Ah, ah, truth exceeds and supersedes facts. Because some things in your life could be a fact. But the truth of God's word, when you begin to hide it in your heart, will transform your life and, and to cause that fact now to dissipate. And now the truth of God's word, I'm more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus who strengthened me, becomes to shine out. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, begins to stand out. Yeah. And people see me handling things different than you handle things, than they handle things. And they begin to say, what is it, what is it about him? What is it? Stop taking beat downs from ungodly people. Amen. Stop putting yourself in those negative environments. Amen. Is image important? Yes, sir. Is image important? We said business people recognized it many, many years ago how important image is. The devil know how important image is. That's why he wants you to have a distorted image of yourself. And the Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. And because he's the accuser of the brethren, you got to stop letting him feed you the lies. Oh, let me just interject this scripture right here. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of bad imagination. Not all your imagination. Your negative one. You want to awake to greatness, you got to see yourself in the light that God sees you. You got to see, you got to see and say what the word says about you. Say see and say. I was trying to think of what movie I was watching. But I was watching this movie and, and uh, this young lady was, a, I think it was a young lady. She was a beautiful young lady. And she was talking to this man. And she was, she was, uh, he was telling her she was beautiful and da, 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 da. And he's, he asked her, do you believe me? And she said, it's a lie is easier to believe. A lie is easier to believe. It's easier to believe the lies about me. Pretty woman. Oh, y'all. I, I did watch it. <laughs> a lie is easier to believe. And you know that's true. A lie is easier to believe. Because it takes effort. It takes, it takes being in the word. 
It, it, takes, it takes having your mind renewed to the word of God. So it takes going over the word and changing that image of yourself. It takes changing. You know, some of the most brilliant people, I've been meeting people lately, and, and they are where they are because they, they believe a lie about themselves. They believe what somebody else has said rather than what God is saying about them. Oh, come on now. It's time for this to be broken off of lives of believers. Hallelujah. How do you see yourself? That's the question. How do you see yourself? In the next, the, in the next uh, question is, how does God see you? How does God see you? You are, you are so busy worrying about your neighbor down the street. Worrying, worrying about your cousin, your best friend, that you are not seeing how God sees you. I want to make this point. The real you, number one, is a spirit. The real you is created in the image and the likeness of God. God has restored to you Everything that was lost in Adam. Amen. Yes, Lord. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He's a new creation. Old things have passed away and now all things become new. Genesis 1, 26 through 28. Hallelujah. Distorted images. Distorted images. Distorted images. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Watch this. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Say dominion. dominion. Yes, sir. So God created man in his own image. You are created in the image of God. He created him, male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. Then God did what? Bless. Then God did what? Bless. Yeah, Pastor, but you know, when Adam fell, we lost all that. No, no, no. Ephesians 1, 1 and 3 said, He has blessed you with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. They belong to you now. Amen. They belong to you now. Hallelujah. Look what it says. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Me and Veronica, we really worked on that part of the verse. We really, we really had a revelation on that. We, we, we had a revelation. Be fruitful and multiply. Amen. We, yeah, and we received the promise. The old, the, the old saints, see, y'all need some old saints around y'all. The old saints used to tell us, boy, have y'all children. Them young people used to be saying, don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't have another one. Y'all gonna be in the poor house. I am thank God, though. I thank God. I, I, I won't testify. I thank God. We had our children. Amen. Because now another verse is, co is, is coming to pass in our life. Amen. We got some arrows. Amen. We, we, we got some children rising up calling us blessed. Amen. Oh Lord, y'all don't want to get happy with me, but I'm telling you the word is working in my life. Amen. Ah, it's working. Is working. Weeping may endure for a moment. But I want you to know joy. Coming in the morning. <laughs> preach brother. Preach. I want you to leave out here. I want you to remember this. You're a spirit being. You, you, this is not your home. Why are you so married to this place? Why are you so married? Why everything here? Why everything here is so valuable to you? you are, this, this, is, this is not your home. You're a spirit being. 
Say this with me. God loves me. God loves me. Say it like this. God loves him. God loves him. Some me. Some me. Say this with me. Jesus, Jesus. loves me. Loves me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. True image is built from the inside. It's built from the inside. It's built from hiding God's word in your heart. Yeah. True image. I'm talking about true image. Yeah. Preach. Say this with me. I remove, I remove all, negative all negative influences, influences out, of out of my life. I am, I am who God says I am. So you got to believe what God says about you. I said, you got to believe what God says about you. Ah, uh, you got to believe. You got to believe what God says about you. And don't tell me yet, but I say, you got to believe what God says about you. Glory to God. You got to believe it. You got to believe it. All things are possible to them that believe. And let me tell you, believing don't happen on the first time. You got to stay with this truth. You got to meditate this truth. You got to roll this truth over in your heart. It got to come out of your mouth. I believe what God says about me. And there's, there, there are things that, that, that are attacking you. Family curses. Uh, generational things. That are trying to keep you in a box. Glory to God. Trying to keep you where, where you don't belong. You are not an abuser. Amen. Amen. Your grandfather, great grandfather, even father may have been an abuser. Amen. But that's not who you are. Amen. That's not who God says you are. Amen. And you got to choose to believe God's word. Amen. You may be a person that have walked your whole life and saw yourself as a failure. Nothing is working for you. But in the name of Jesus, that breaks now. Amen. It breaks now. Amen. Because you are who God says you are. Yeah. Yeah. Preach. Preach. Some people get to certain limits and they can't go past them. Because they can't see, they cannot see God blessing them past that. Amen. So what they do, they start holding back on the tithe that God blessed them with. Glory. See, the tithe, let me tell you how to tithe. You know, this new generation don't understand what is a tithe. A tithe is a 10, 10% of your income. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, I just lost half my Amen. audience. Yes, Hallelujah. Preach, preach. Yes, Lord. The Bible says the tithe belongs to God. The Bible says the tithe is holy to God. The tithe is where God said, prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you up the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing that there's not room enough to receive. Amen. And now you, you can tell me what you want. They ain't got nobody in here like that yet. They got some people on their way. Amen. I'm preaching, Ben, y'all shouting. You have to see yourself the way God sees you. You have to renew your mind to the tithe. Why? Because my, my tithe tells tell you, I'm not trusting me to take care of me. God, I'm trusting you to take care of me. Hallelujah. God, God, God you gave me every... I, I don't tithe because it's a law to tithe. I tithe because it's a privilege to tithe. It's a blessing to tithe. People look at my, my, my family, they look at our lives, and they, 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 don't, they don't see that. They think it's luck. Osmosis. But it was not luck, and it was not osmosis. We tithe when it, was, when it seemed like it didn't make sense to tithe. Come on, come on, come on. We, we, yeah, I say we did it. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Baby needed shoes, and we did it. Yes. But I'm so glad we did. I say, I'm so glad we did. I'm so glad we did. I'm so glad we did. See, the church has come to a point now. They think being on Facebook Live and being on YouTube is entertainment. This is not entertainment. This is ministry. Oh, y'all, it's quiet. That's okay. It's out there. 
And make sure you tag yourself in this so they can know you go to this church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because, because truth will stand up against a lie every day, all day, over and over and over and over again. And it's the truth of God's word. And it has to be preached. God said he want to he wanna rebuke the devourer for your sake. And you got to be bold enough to stand on what God says. Many times I've come to the father. I say, father, you said you would rebuke the devourer for our sake. He shall not destroy the fruit of our ground. I don't want to be in a crowd. I don't want to be in a crowd with everybody else. He said he would sanctify me through his truth. And his word would set me apart. Hallelujah. And that's what his word will do when you trust it. When you, put, when you hide his word in your heart. Glory to God. You will always be able to hold God to his word. He will not destroy the fruit of your ground. So grateful for that. Hallelujah. I see what God is doing. I see what he's doing. And, and you see, everybody look at what God is doing now in my family. They don't look at the process. God, God, listen to me. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that's at work in you. I'm telling you, some of you need to, you need to get strong with the devil. You need to put him in his place. He got you in fear. Oh, Lord, let me see. Can I get to the rest of this message? I just got four minutes left. I don't know how much time they gave me. It must have been just 30 minutes. See yourself victorious. God's word. God's word. It's how you're going to see. You cannot, you see, watch it this. You cannot con God. Amen. You cannot deceive God. Amen. You, when we try to deceive God, we become self-deceived. I'm preaching. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You see, God has brought me to a place now that I have to say the hard things. The things that are not comfortable. Because people have questioned. They won't know why they're not progressing. Well, you know, I come to church every once in a while. I give every once in a while. I mean, God should consider that. God, in this world, there are systems, there are things set up in place to protect you. Amen. In the kingdom of God, there are law, spiritual laws set in place to protect you, to govern you. That's what it's about. And it don't matter, oh Lord, oh, it don't matter how educated we get. You cannot con God. From the very beginning, God had a plan. And you have to follow his plan. Oh, some people try to shout about his plan. Some people try to, oh, they try to pray about it. But God said, bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now here with the what? Prove me with what? With the tithe. Yeah, not with, not with the praise. Not with, how long, not, not with how, long, how long you can speak in tongues. Oh, Lord, can I get some help in here today? When the knowledge of truth is received, then you must be a doer of the truth. Amen. I'll say it again. When the knowledge of truth is received, then you must be a doer of the truth. Yes, sir. Yes. By doing what the word says, thinking as God thinks and seeing yourself as God sees you. You allow God's word to build a true image in you. Go with me to James 1, 21. Tie right in with, 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 with uh, Veronica is, is a prayer. All this month, y'all, prayer 
is, is being a doer and you will be blessed in the word. Amen. That's what prayer is about all this month. Our prayer is growing. I want you to know it's, it's growing and it's going to grow because people need, they need word. They need Jesus, but they need people who, who know how to pray. So I want to encourage you, if you don't have the number, put the numbers on the screen so they can join us on Monday night. It is time to pray and not play. Amen. It is time to, to hear the voice of God and know what God is doing in the earth today. Yes. Hallelujah. Now listen at this. Glory to God. Therefore, we need five more minutes. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and re watch. Oh, slow down, slow down. I'm reading from James 1.21. Therefore, lay aside. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive and do what? Receive, receive with meekness. The implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only doing what? Deceiving yourself. You can't fool God. Amen. You don't want to be deceived. But if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, He's like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observed himself. Look how good I looked. And immediately, that's what I used to do every morning. I get ready for work, put my tie on. I said, boy, I look good today. I'm going to sell some diamonds today. Then I said, Veronica, how I look? You already told yourself. <laughs> See, image... See, that's the thing about image. You got to understand when you look good, you feel good. Y'all, y'all, I'm not going to fool with that. I'm not going to go there. Some of these images that we portraying out here today, I know, you can't feel good about yourself. I mean, oh, I look, David, stick, stick, stay in that course. I'm coming back though. I will be back. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But, tell your neighbor the but factor. But, he who looks into the perfect law of liberty, that's the word of God, and continues in it, and do what? And continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what he does. Yes, I'll say it again: You cannot con God. Amen. God cannot be mocked. Amen. God is not unjust. Amen. God is not unrighteous. Amen. Hallelujah. What a man sow it, that shall he reap. Now look, God is so for you and I. When we, we see distortion comes because, because we begin to dilute the word. We begin to compromise. We begin to, we, we begin to put other things before the word. So now we don't have a clear picture. And so now we don't really have nothing we can stand on because one thing about the devil, he will get you to do it, but he's going to be right there to remind you of what you've done. Oh yeah, he's going to be right there to remind you what you've done. And that's why you got you to gotta, you gotta get in the word to, so you can have your mind renewed so you can begin to see yourself the way God see because you can start right now now see there's not a condemnation message you can start right now seeing yourself differently Amen. you can Amen. start right now yeah. doing differently Amen. Amen. Glory. see that's that's what the enemy don't want you to know 
He wants you to think you got to continue. Uh, you got to play that broken record over and over and over and over and over and over. No, you don't. He is a liar. All right, we're going we gonna to close after we read these next two scriptures. <laughs> Today is, is, a, is a special day. Praise, praise, praise. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, mm -hmm. that we should be called children of God. I'm reading from 1 John, the third chapter, the first and second verse. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. That we should be called what? Say, I'm a child of God. Now watch this. See, this is where y'all get in trouble. Y'all like to act like everybody a child of God. Because y'all all work at the same place. That don't, that, don't make no, that don't make them a child of God. You need a revelation. Well, we all God's children. No, we not. Many people, and I don't get, I'm sorry, it ain't popular, but many people are of their father who is the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they come in all kind of pretty clothes. Yeah. And you let that distort your view. Stick with the word. It is your guide. Therefore, watch this, that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. All Jesus did, all the miracles, all that, and they still did not know who he was. Many religious leaders, Pharisees, Sadducees, did not know who he was. But look what the Bible say for you. Beloved, now. Say now. 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 Say now. now. Don't be scared. Now. now. Not next week. Not next now. year. Now. Now. now we are children of God. And it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know. That when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Amen. You're a child of God now. Amen. There is therefore now no condemnation to you who walk in the spirit. There is therefore now no condemnation to you. There is therefore now no condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I didn't even get to nothing. I didn't put all this out here. Didn't do. Let me just say a few things just to, so we can think right. The image that God puts in his word is the true image of you. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to develop a victorious mindset in you. Say victorious mindset. You have to let the Holy Spirit cause you to see y'all let me tell you something y'all in uh, in the 70s it wasn't as prejudiced as it was in the 50s Amen. but let me tell you i was in some very prejudiced situations at my work but god gave me so much favor i was in a store of all white people and i was the number one salesman how could that be I had people would come in the store and, and I was the only one left so they would walk out. But y'all know I never got discouraged. I never got discouraged because the same God made it so that a line of people would be waiting for me. 90% of them was white. And people would tell them, look, 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 look. I, I can help you. I can help you. I said, no, I'm waiting for him. God will give you favor. God will open doors for you. But you got to stop all this all these crazy mindset that the world has. You got to get with God. God told me I was the head and not the tail. I don't know why I was crazy enough to believe that. He said he would bless what my hands find to do. And let me tell you something. I'm not bragging, but I, I could sell a diamond. 
I could sell a diamond. But God gave me that ability. I got people to this day still won't buy, buy diamonds from me. I'm telling you, God will open doors for you. Watch this, that no man can never close. Oh, Jesus. Jesus said this here, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is true. You know, there was a time I can tell people I used to be all the bad things they said about me. I was. No, I ain't telling y'all. I know. No, I know. I'm not rehearsing that. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. His mercy toward me is new every morning. There's some things with Veronica I repent for over and over and over again. I just, I'm sorry. I didn't get it. And you know, from that, you can work on being better. But some things you got to, see, some things have been strongholds and you got to, you just got to stay with it till you get to victory. But the victory already belonged to you. And you cannot back off of that. You must hold fast to that. But too many, what they do, they say, well, I can never change. That's the way my daddy was, my granddaddy. But you can change. In fact, the word in you changes you make you a new creation in christ amen hallelujah that's enough for the day give the lord jesus a hand clap of praise hallelujah thank you father i didn't get to false positive because we got a lot of false positive going on today we're going to talk about that one day. I can't say next week because you know <laughs> it may not be next week. But we're going to talk about that. Amen. False positives. Amen. 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 You're here today and you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. You have not accepted him as your savior. We want to give you that opportunity today. So if you're here today, it all starts with Jesus. The Bible says looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith. It all starts with Jesus. Maybe you're watching today and you don't know Jesus. Today is your day. The Bible says in Romans the 10th chapter, the 9th and the 10th verse. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. I just want you to pray this prayer right me. Well, yeah, that was good. I just want you to pray this prayer with me right now. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to forgive me. Make me new. You said if anyone calls on you, you would in no wise turn them away. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. If you prayed that prayer. We would love for you to contact us. We would love for you to make a comment. In the section. Below. The chat session. If you would. Letting us know that you received Jesus. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Jesus said this here. If you, if you deny me before men. I will deny you before God. Call us at 504-345-8932. You can even email us at prayer at the whole family church .com. Oh, glory to God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here today. And if you think I can read that little sign. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have 2020 vision, but not 2080. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. We get ready to worship the Lord with communion. Amen. How many of y'all know it's an honor to receive communion? Amen. 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 Sweet communion. Say sweet communion. Sweet communion. Y'all, is because of covenant. It's because of God's word, covenant, that we can be partakers of the grace. You cannot say the graces that he has provided for us. And the more I, 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 I'm in the word, the more I'm seeing that the part partaking of, of the benefits of the covenant that we have in God is through knowledge. Knowledge of the promises. Amen? Amen. So, y'all tune back in, tune back in. Stop playing with the little cups and stuff. Tune back in. That's a simple act. It's a simple act. Jesus said this here. Thank you.